Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Jacob. I'm over here at Times of CNC. I started machining over at Rockland High School under Dan Frank's program. We were basically the beta school for the Times of CNC Academy Building Blocks series. Tyan gave us the material, Ken and Metal gave us the tools. Perfect combination to make a bunch of chips. We had a lot of fun. Tyan hired me out of high school and I've been here ever since. It's my first time running the Toromach. The fact that you don't have to have a crazy amount of money to become a machinist anymore, and you can buy one of these and put it in your garage, I think is really cool. Now you have a cheaper machine, a great curriculum. Those two mixed together work perfect. We're gonna be doing the 53M. There's all kinds of cool features on there. We have some nice deep cavities. We have O-ring grooves. We're gonna make sure that our surface finishes are perfect on the floors, walls, everywhere. Let's go make it happen. So for this first operation, we're gonna take in our raw stock. We're gonna put in our shunk vise. I have my X0, Y0, upper left corner. My Z0 is at model top, 20 thou below my stock material. T1 is gonna be the can of metal shell mill, one and a half inch. T2, we have a half inch end mill coming down. So now that we're roughing, we're actually gonna start on the outside, start moving our way in. It's just more efficient this way. Now that we're done roughing the outside, it's gonna start helicing down into the center of our part. We have a 0.8 deep pocket in there. We have the coolant flooding in to the pocket. We wanna make sure that those chips are coming out nice. You'll notice something, it's pretty clear, right? It's not that milky stuff you're used to. It's because we're actually using Synergy 735. Now that it's hit the bottom, it's gonna start interpolating, which means our radial 20 thou pass is gonna come in and it's gonna start taking those chips off you'll notice that we're actually going to be dry running. I always highly recommend you use coolant when making your parts. We are only doing this for camera purposes so you can see those chips coming off. So now we've just roughed everything out. We're gonna bring in our T3, our half inch bull mill. This is now gonna come down and kiss that top wall, hit the floor, make everything look beautiful. I can listen to this tool, I can just tell. It's making beautiful cuts right now. 
So back when we had that rougher come in and we were getting after, we were hogging out some material, I didn't care about surface finish because I knew I left extra stock on all of my surfaces. So when I come back and I bring in my finisher, it's just gonna kiss the floor, kiss the wall, it'll be beautiful. You can tell, it sounds perfect. We're not taking big chip loads. Five thou everywhere, it's gonna look great. So now we're on a T4, the half inch chamfer. We are going on the outside, giving us a 10 thou chamfer. You can see we actually have big amounts of stock to leave on the inside of one of our pockets. It's because now that we're gonna come in there, we're gonna do 20 thou passes to get a beautiful chamfer. You're noticing the size of the chamfer now. This chamfer is actually half the size of my diameter, meaning that I had to bring my tip just to the bottom to make sure it came out perfect. So now we're on T5, our last tool. It's a 40 thou thick, three quarter key cutter. We're gonna drop down in those pockets we machined earlier, start engaging, just cutting away those chips. Oh, look it, it looks good. And now that we're all done, let's blow this thing off, see what it looks like. Ooh, Tormach, I'm loving these surface finishes. It's my first part on this machine ever. I think the Tormach's actually an excellent addition to the shop. I love using it. I like how the simulation generates on this with your tool pass. I think that's really cool just from my perspective as a machinist. I'm really impressed with how everything came out. That's op A. We're gonna be machining op B in a separate video. So if you wanna check that out, that'll be coming soon.